How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Killmark Collectors. I'm Brandon, and today I am joined by one of the newest content creators in Eve Echoes, Taylor Rick. Taylor, how you doing, man? Thanks for joining. Doing great, man. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. So, Taylor, why don't you uh, just kind of start off? I know that you are uh, in the new, I'll say the new batch of creators here. Uh, you know, I think, what, two weeks ago, something like that. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, I think that probably a lot of people recognize the voice uh, from some of what you've been done with uh, with Rambo. But yeah. give me give me just kind of the, the quick resume of Taylor Rick. Oh, man. Uh, so started the game uh, day one, uh, August 2020, just like every, well, just like a lot of us. I mean, there's a lot of us that are still here from mm -hmm. day one. So uh, and wasn't really sure what I was going to what I was going to really do. I mean, I played Eve online back in the day. But wasn't really sure if I wanted to just go whole hog again. Uh, but being mobile, I was like very intrigued because um, I loved Eve Online. It was just always tied to a desktop, and I couldn't go anywhere with it. So, and I do travel a lot mm -hmm. for work. So, yeah. uh, so being mobile, I was very intrigued by that. I tried to get in the early beta way back when, uh, but didn't didn't make that cut. Um, so I was very eager uh, for it to come out, and when it did, um, I got in the game and goofed around with it a little bit, and then found um, the Citadel of Ricks, which is a a C-137, which is a, you know, all themed around the Rick and Morty uh, show. <laughs> uh, but I didn't think ahead long enough to think of what my character name would be. And so I let it do the auto-generate, and that was Taylor 8 Baloo, B-L-I-U-E or something weird like that, Baloo. <laughs> right. So I just left it, and I was like, shit. Um, but a whole bunch of us started to get into this, into this corporation, uh, and that was in the old days, uh, you know, just running frigates and maybe destroyers, and holy crap, there's cruisers, you know? And so we were getting all excited <laughs> about things as the tiers were, were kind of getting there with the skill progression, very slow back yep. then. Yep. And one of the things that happened was, is because we were all fans of Rick and Morty, and that was a themed thing, uh, when the name changes came out, everybody was like, well, everybody should just put Rick at the end of their name. So hence Taylor ate Rick and I was too stupid to take the eight out. <laughs> so <laughs> that would have just made way too much sense. It would have made way too much sense. Um, and so that for that very brief short period of time when uh, I was a T eight, <laughs> it was kind of <laughs> cool. And then it was the war off. Uh, so, so you're not Taylor 10 Rick now? No, no. Why didn't you just change it as you went? <laughs> it's only 500 plex. Yeah, each time. Why not? Yeah, yeah. So It's like a month's worth of plex. Like, it, on, what's it's the, what's no big problem? deal. Yeah, it shouldn't, shouldn't be a big, big uh, problem anymore. No, but um, I just left it. And on Discord, it's Taylor Rick. And in the game, it's Taylor 8 Rick, which, right. no, there's not a Taylor 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and 7. <laughs> it's just one. There's just one of them. So it's like the uh, the high school prank where you release pigs in the, the cafeteria <laughs> or whatever, and you have one, two, and four. Like, uh -huh. you know, something Where's like three? That. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that's awesome, man. So, how did you start uh, kind of getting into the content creation space? And um, you know, obviously, you are co-hosting uh, Echoes of New Eden with uh, Silent Rambo, or I don't mm -hmm. know if he actually changed his name if he's just Rambo now, but. Um, either way, you guys are, are kind of rolling with that. So tell me a little bit about that and kind of how yeah. you got involved. Well, right now he's Rambo Philbin uh, with Who Wants to Be a Billionaire, or game show. Yeah, so. that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, so I mean, I, I listen to a lot of stuff. Uh, being being very busy and on the road uh, for work, I listen to a lot of podcasts, uh, a lot of YouTube. Yeah, you can just listen to YouTube when you're driving, which is dangerous, I know, but I do. <laughs> so <laughs> one of those guys. But um you know, and I, I'll say that uh, Echoes of New Eden was not was not my favorite uh, show. Not that I liked it any less than anything else, but my go-to was almost always uh, Giga Forda in the beginning. His voice, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's just it was fantastic. So it was an easy listen, uh, and I'd, I'd listen mm -hmm. to everything you put out. Um, but I noticed uh, towards the end of of last year, uh, Rambo had started to. I mean, his content was great. It was always great. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it seemed like maybe there was a little bit of start and stops, and it was it was kind of inconsistent, I guess, is the only thing I, I noticed. And then at the end of December, he put up a thing looking for co-hosts, looking for some help. And I thought, ah, that would be fun to do. That mm -hmm. would be fun to do. And so I just messaged him and said, hey, I would love to, I would love to help you out. I, I like your show. It's great. Um, I'd love to help you. Keep it going. Um, and that's kind of how – and he just re responded. We started talking, and that's just kind of how I started doing it. Uh, he brought me in right off day one. I was three days later. I think we recorded the first show, and we just hit it off. We hadn't even talked in uh, voice comms at all uh, prior to that. We'd just been texting back and forth. 
I think part of what helped that is I do have another uh, podcast that I do uh, every week, and it's been around since 2008. So uh, he could go and listen to some of the stuff I've done and know that I, I actually know how to record a podcast and how to <laughs> how to speak intelligibly uh, and pronounce yeah. words, which he can't do. So I'm a big help there. Uh, so. <laughs> Um, it's important to compliment each other's skills like that. It is. It is. And boy, we just hit it off. It's great. He's a great guy. Um, got to know him fairly well. Uh, and it is. We have a good banter back and forth. And it just, it was good. It was good chemistry from day one. So. Yeah, I think that's that's been one of the things that I've really enjoyed. Um, as we have seen your relationship progress, you know, from, you know, the initial co-host and all that, you guys really had that chemistry. And it's fun to listen and just kind of go back and forth and, you know, especially with the on air stuff that you guys have in discord and all of yeah. that. It's a really, really cool show and a really cool format. So I'm glad you guys are doing it. Yeah, it's a blast. I have a, I have a lot of fun doing it. It's usually really late at night here. If I'm doing it from home, sometimes I do it from the mm-hmm. road. I do have a mobile setup, uh, mm-hmm. which causes challenges sometimes on the YouTube side of things. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> sure. <laughs> but, um, but no, on the audio side, it's fine. And, Usually when I'm doing it, I'm doing it late at night, and then I have to kind of go a little bit down a little bit because everybody's asleep directly above me. <laughs> you got that that good FM DJ uh, yeah. uh, voice, right? <laughs> yeah, I, t- I try to. I try. Yes, I get uh, very smooth. Now we're gonna play some jazz. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, are there any episodes or discussions that that have really stood out to you as being really fun? You know, if if I'm a new listener, are, are there any that you would point me to and say? go check this out because it was awesome, you know? Yeah, so that's a, that's a tough question. I thought about that um, for a while because you gave me a few of these questions to think about, and this was one that was really difficult because every one of those shows, it, well, at first they, we kind of scripted them. At first we did. We would, we would script them, uh, and we'd kind of have an outline that we would follow. And eventually we've almost completely thrown that away, and it's a very, <laughs> it's a very uh, flowy kind of thing. Um, we have an idea of what each one of us wants to talk about um, now that we've got uh, Crimson King on. Um, but we, uh, but we just let it flow. Hey, Crimson's got a hey, Crimson. If you're listening to this boy, you better start, start like button in there and talking because between Rambo and I, you, <laughs> you're not going to get in there much if you don't get a little more aggressive. Uh, but no, um, they're all great. They're all great. Which one would be like my favorite? Any, any of the ones where if you look at the descriptions and it talks about, we have a little bit of a round table. Those are the funnest ones. When we get just a whole bunch of people on mm-hmm. the comms on the call or on the recording, if you will, all at the same time you know when we get fcs from around new eden when we get um, leaders and ceos and alliance leaders from around all of new eden and we really hash out the current state of who's doing what in the game that part those parts are my favorite um yeah i do like the discussions of you know what can be changed and what needs to happen next and what do we need and what, what can they take away? All those kinds. I like those discussions too, but at the end of the day, those are just all speculation and, and it's just, mm-hmm. it's just constant churning of speculation over and over again. Yeah. Uh, I, but I, so I enjoy the community aspect of it um, the most. So any of those, when you see the word community probably in the uh, titles, those are the ones that mm-hmm. I find the funnest. Uh, yeah. Cause that's really what this whole game is about. The whole game is about yeah. the community side of it. So Absolutely. Well, and, you know, the roundtable that I was on a couple of weeks back with some of the new mm-hmm. content creators, that was a great discussion. Um, you know, thank you guys for having me on. I'll link the, the card up here, whichever side it is that I, I can never remember which way to point to on, uh, on, <laughs> on YouTube. But, yeah, that was a great discussion. I, I think that was a lot of fun. It um, was. You know, I, I loved getting to talk to you guys and, and some of the other new creators. So definitely recommend that one from my perspective. And, you know, I've listened to some of the FCUs as well. And to your point, it's just kind of cool to, to hear some of those perspectives that you don't normally no, don't normally get. So, well, things but. like when you have like uh, Ozier on O-Z-Y-E-R, mm-hmm. Ozier, whatever, however you pronounce his name, Ozier, <laughs> when you when we had him on. And I was constantly getting uh, harassed in my DMs. Well, I guess I shouldn't say harassed, but I ca- constantly got, got uh, stuff coming through my DMs about wanting somebody else that was also in comms to be unmuted. And it would have been a total shit show if we would have done that. Boy, <laughs> I wanted to do that. I really wanted to do that. <laughs> Some people just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> That's correct. And sometimes it's, it's, sometimes it's fun to just let it happen. Uh, yep, so. <laughs> absolutely. Well, so let's, let's transition back a little bit to the game itself because Sorry, yeah. you mentioned, you know, it's fun to, to see what people do and, and all of that and, you know, kind of get the different FCs and, 
how how are you making ISK and things like that? I think are some of the big conversations. But <laughs> you are uh, you've actually started making your own YouTube content as well, and uh-huh. it's you know kind of been a little bit of everything. Um, I know you had a, a really cool one on the economy and some of that. Mm-hmm. But tell me, you know, kind of what do you enjoy doing in the game? What's 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 your your go to if you're going to log on for an hour and play? Oh man. Can I even log on for just an hour anymore? Um, <laughs> I feel you there. I took over as CEO of the Ricks uh, in March, I think, of 21, um, and have been that ever since. And so being a CEO, uh, being an FC at times, um, man, when you log on, you're pulled in six different directions. Uh, and so it's a different yep. it's a different style of play than when you're just a pilot logging on to do whatever you want to do. Uh, I love it. I enjoy it. There's a management aspect to it that kind of gets back to in a coaching aspect to it. Um, mm-hmm. teaching wise that get that I love, um, part of what I do in real life, uh, is, is, is kind of draws on that. So, um, so that part of it is great, but if I could just log on and do whatever for an hour, eh, I better be with somebody, you know, one of these guys, uh, in my corp in comms, you know, that's the mm-hmm. funnest. Uh, if I could pick anything, I'd say it's something that we're going to go over in a dead space together, or we're going to go, it doesn't matter what we do. It's an hour of, of us all being on comms and bullshitting. That that would yep. be, if I could pick anything, that would be the thing. And that's what makes it great. That's what keeps me doing it every day. Yeah, absolutely. No, I, I hear you there. And I think that's always been the thing that I've enjoyed about this game more than anything is the community and, and getting to meet people. My mm-hmm. wife gives me a hard time that I'm, you know, better friends with some of these people that I don't even know their real name, you know, than, oh, I know. than people in real life. You try to, you try to explain so. to somebody who you're talking to and it's like, uh, who are you talking to? Oh, well, his name's Bamfed. What's his what yeah. what? What's the other guy's name? Evil Rick. Who the hell are you talking to? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think um, when I I really started uh, talking with like Big Skillet and, and some of those guys, <laughs> and she was like, "Who?" And now she's like, "Oh, Skillet, him." Okay, got yeah, it. Like, yeah, you know, she, yeah. She just accepts it and moves on. So that's awesome. Well, so I mean, you have been really, you know, you mentioned doing stuff in comms, and obviously, mm-hmm. you know, you mentioned FCing. That's kind of been, I think recently I've seen you FC a number of different rooms. What's kind of your, your go-to? Are you a battleship guy? Are you a, a Covops guy? What, what's kind of the, the ship that you would most likely fly if you're going to FC or, or do something like that? Oh, if I'm FCing, I'm in some sort of Guardian. I'm either in a Phantasm, mm-hmm. um, moving some things over to try to do a Rupture 2 Guardian right now as well. Oh, um, yep. So uh, it's, it's, it's always a Guardian of some kind. If I'm not in a Guardian, then I'm probably in a Scepter and I'm trying to do Fast Tackle. Uh, which I'm gotcha. not the best at because I, I really hate scanning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I can wa- I can map those wave graphs perfectly to one another and it's still fail. I just don't. <laughs> so I gave up. Yeah. It's, um, it's, a, it's a skill within a skill, that's for sure. It is, which, which, is, which is great. It's, it's okay if there's something in the game that's, that's a little more technically outside of my ability to do and I can let mm-hmm. somebody else do that. That's okay. Right. That's fine. I want more things in the game that are complicated like that. So, yeah. Well, and I mean, that's, you know, I think something that we are seeing is there are continuously things being added to the game. Um, I know you mentioned you played Eve online and, and some of mm-hmm. that, or you, I'm sorry, you said, I'm not sure if you said you did or you didn't. Cause I know you said I the did, desktop yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay. So what, what's like, from your perspective, cause I've, I've never actually played Eve online. So mm. what's your, kind of if you could add one thing could be from eve online could be from just what you see in the game what what would you want to add to maybe add some of that complexity or add some other elements to it that's another tough one um i mean really it is because there's a lot of things i'd want to add and there's things from eve online that i don't want to add um, because it's a mobile game right and so if you get the level of complexity way too high then you're going to wind up crashing the client and People are yep. gonna, you know, it's it's already a difficult game to get into. When you when you start a brand new, let's let's say you go and grab the app, go into the app store and you download it because someone told you about it because there are no ads. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, exactly. And you and you go load this thing up for the first time and you've never played Eve Online and you've only heard about Eve Echoes from a friend and you go mm-hmm. install this thing, you are over freaking whelmed. Yeah. How? Mm-hmm. I mean, it, there's just so much shit that gets thrown at you. Um. So. Even though I just said I'd like more more things in the game that are more complicated, it, it, that's a that's a balancing act. That's a difficult thing to do. It is. Um, but I mean, the number one thing right now that I think needs to get added into the game, like the number one thing, 
is some way to balance out uh, industry. Uh, that that mm-hmm. that's the number one thing that has to be done in this game right now. Um, maybe it is the addition of larger, you know, super caps up to titans. I don't I don't think that's the answer. Uh, I think that's mm-hmm. a little too soon because capitals, although they're they're there, and they're a great or sink and a great isk sink. Um, because if you're doing it right, as soon as you get a capital, you instantly start building your second one. Because when yep. that one dies, you need to, you just need to build a second one. Insurance is too yep. it's too much. Um, yep. You can build a second one for cheaper. So so nobody should really be insurance doing insurance on them. Although people are. Yeah. Uh, and you can get your nano core Nettie's if you wind up getting sure one. Which I'm very happy about. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, which is fine. You have an option there, right? But if, but right. again, every, everybody's sometimes to their detriment, everybody in this game wants to always try to chase the most efficient way to do everything and don't do it mm-hmm. unless it's the most efficient way to do it. And that yep. sometimes can be a fallacy, but yeah, well, I, I, I hear you and I, I agree. I mean, you know, we could probably have a whole other discussion around industry and balancing oh, yeah. and all of that, but, oh, yeah. um, I, I definitely agree. I feel like we've lost a lot of players who enjoy that style of play just mm-hmm. because there's there's not enough for them to do in a way that's fulfilling, you know? Yep. So I, I think that it I think I agree with you there. That's definitely something that I would love to see. I don't I don't think it's the super caps and, you know, Titans yet either. I think there's just not enough content that warrants those. Mm-hmm. So I mean, yeah, you can get into one but you can't like what are you gonna do? Run a run a dead space? Like I mean, you know, there's <laughs> well, you can't even run an indead uh, in a capital. Yeah, yeah exactly. just the regular old dead spaces you can. Yeah, so it's kind of that kind of sucks. But um, there's not enough of these uh, capital anomalies, that's for sure. Even though that there's three of them now, their spawn rate mm-hmm. is a mystery. Um, yep. The capital specials just don't spawn as much anymore now that the quarries can spawn. So yep. it's a weird it's a weird thing that they're doing there. There needs to be more of that content as well. Uh, yep. For those cap pilots to encourage more people to get into capitals because bigger's not better, all right? Bigger mm-hmm. is definitely not better. Um, but if you really want to get into making ISK anymore, I mean, I, I can't, I can't even do a regular anomaly. It just drives me nuts. Yeah. You know, a twenty million tick is like, really? That's it? That's my yeah. bonus? What? That's like, geez, I'm not even going to use my a, commendation for that. What the hell am I doing? Yeah, exactly, right. So, well, and I think. I think the other thing that's interesting there that you just mentioned is with the commendations and all that stuff, mm-hmm. it, you know, no bigger is not better, but you can make to your point, 20 million from a 10 million tick from a material, you know, running a large anom plus 10 for the commendation, or I can make a hundred mil, mm-hmm. you know, from 50 million of the, the bounty and doing an, an FRP and then, you know, the, the commendation. So yeah, it, it is absolutely, you know, an ISK printer once you, you get in, especially these carriers. Um, yeah, the carriers especially. Yeah, very, yep. very profitable. Which is dangerous um, because the carriers can be very vulnerable, right? Uh, mm-hmm. So, you know, and the dreadnoughts are not as vulnerable. Uh, they're still vulnerable yep. if they're by themselves, but but it's a lot harder to kill a dreadnought. It takes, <laughs> a, lot, takes a lot longer. Uh, so yeah. with that said, I mean, that's great though, because that creates a really nice imbalance. Yeah. You know, we talk about balance a lot as all, all the content creators always do. And the balance patches this, that, and the other, but sometimes you need an imbalance. Uh, and that part of it is what I love about the capitals, uh, carriers anyway, versus dreadnoughts is there's a big imbalance between the two in terms of their tank. Um, mm-hmm. Michael JD gets really pissed off when I say that carriers are squishy compared to dreadnoughts because carriers are not squishy at all, but he misses that I'm making a comparison, a, the, the comparison to a dreadnought. Right. Right. <laughs> so just go, just go tell him to uh, what is it to to salt his ribs or whatever, it is, or, <laughs> yeah. you know, barbecue. Grow so. some more pigs on your farm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I, I hear you, and I think it's it, it's interesting too because the way that those ships are deployed is very different. You know, mm-hmm. and, and I do like the ability to have that flexibility, you know, because mm-hmm. if you're deploying a fleet of carriers versus a fleet of dreadnoughts, you're you're using two very different play styles there. And it can go wonderfully or it can go horribly, <laughs> you know, yeah. depending on, yeah. on how you're you're doing it. So I'm I'm looking forward to your point. I'm I'm trying to, to you know, get myself up to that point where I'm comfortable enough to PvP with that uh, with that capital, but uh, that is so much fun! Still, oh my god, we still so, got to build some stuff. Oh, uh, capitals change the game completely on how you play. Um, so that's one. But then as soon as you go PvP in it, holy hell! 
you think your heart races when you're just unducking the you know a succubus or a daredevil or or even a you know a geddon or something or the nightmare um man when you're trying to either hot drop or whatever uh <laughs> in a capital that is a whole nother level of anxiety <laughs> it's a lot yeah, of fun it gets your, uh, gets your blood flowing a little bit huh mm-hmm. i've only done it a couple of times because i promised yep. myself after my my first loss uh of my nidhogger i had it for two and a half months and lost it i lost it to uh santiago <laughs> okay we had him on the show talking about it so that was fun yep uh nice. so after that loss i was like yeah you know i should probably i'm gonna tank this bitch <laughs> i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm not gonna glass cannon it i'm gonna tank it uh, and so, sorry, rat and a tank fit. Um, so good luck if you if you think you're going to drop on on me with anything more than a ten ten materials. Um, yeah. But you know, that'll be fun if you do. I'll I'll enjoy it. But I I want a second yeah. one before I go PVP again. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. No, I I feel you there. I mean, it's definitely. I have not PVP'd with it yet, obviously. But it's it's one of those things that I'm like, if you were to to tell me what is one thing that you could do that my, uh, my heart would probably not handle well, (laughs) it would absolutely be, uh, go take my archon out and, uh, and try to just, you know, go after somebody. So So, we'll see what happens. So what made you, I know why I would pick an archon, but everybody always Mm -hmm. talks about the archon as the worst carrier in the game. (laughs) Why did you pick an archon? I know why I would pick one. Uh, do you want the the intelligent answer or do you want the actual answer? The actual answer is because it's cool looking. It's the only <laughs> carrier that looks cool. Mine's like a rusted roof. Uh, the Nidhogger. Um, but so the actual answer is that it was uh, I got it from a guy who hated it and was selling it super cheap. <laughs> eh, there you and go. So, there you go. And so um, <laughs> he sold it to me for less than it cost to build. Yeah, uh, but he was he was trying to get into a Nidhogger or a Chimera, mm-hmm. and so I did the math and I was like, okay, so if I go ahead and I buy it, I will be able to get my next one like a month and a half or two months faster. Oh yeah, and if I just keep trying to grind to get that extra, it was he gave me like a five billion isc- discount, and when you're just running high mm-hmm. sec encounters. That's a that's a lot of this. So, that's a lot of this, yeah. Yeah, which you so can't do it, in that now, can you? So no, no, yeah. I, I can't do that. But yeah. you know, I mean, again, you can you make it with the faction rallies and all of that. I mean, mm-hmm. you can make. I think that I make five hundred mil with the loot and you know bonuses and all that stuff if you're you know doing a, a faction rally, um, mm-hmm. and that would be what I would make in eight hours of riding. You know. Oh yeah. Yeah, when I when I when so. I push, I'm over two billion a day, and that's maybe yeah. an hour and a half, two hours worth of content. Yeah, and then there's exactly. nothing else to do. So. <laughs> there's no other. Yeah. yeah, might as well wait until the next day. Yeah, so. Yeah, well, and I think that the thing that's been nice for me is that it it lets me feel more free to use my other ships. Yeah, um, they don't feel like know, a loss anymore, do they? <laughs> exactly. I and well, it's it's funny because I'm. I, I enjoy, you know, hunting solo and, you know, taking yep. my, my bellicose or my RB out. And um, I used to be like, oh, man, I lost another one that's like 400 mil, you know, whatever with insurance. And I'm just like, it's fine. I yeah. got this. Like, you know, whatever. It's, it, it changes one the day. game in it's one a day. lot of ways. Yeah, it's one day in a rally. Yeah. You're done. Exactly. You got it all back. Yeah, whoop de doo Yeah, exactly. So. Could do that seven days well, a week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's and it's nice just because, you know, again, if I'm – working I'm, I'm in tech so i can yeah. basically be going around and you know on conference calls or whatever and i can just have my ipad up and oh there you go there's a rally okay let me let me get my sino up and you know run this thing while i'm on a on a conference call and just kind of keep an eye and make sure nobody's gonna hot drop me and yeah you know it works out well so that's always it always makes me a little nervous i put up uh you know we put up eyes and we, we get a little bit more uh i try to anyway mm-hmm. uh, be a little bit more proactive on that end of it um and we're docking when someone's three four jumps away at this point so yep no sense in risking it yeah and i mean that's that's what i do too because i can i've got blue stacks on my computer so i can kind of you know keep one or two cams up and to your point if i see something that oh that's a somebody's bringing a bellicose hmm i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and dock because uh, that thing can have a sino on it so uh we're gonna we're gonna be careful here yeah exactly exactly yeah Yeah. if it's just a 
scepter or whatever else you can if they're stupid you can just blow them out of the water if they're too slow exactly but uh, exactly yeah yeah Yeah. well i i know that we are you know past the or close to the half hour mark here um so you know just kind of closing this thing out and and I'm going to say put a cap on the conversation, no pun intended. Uh, but <laughs> That's good. What, <laughs> uh, but what uh, what would be kind of your main goal with being a content creator? And, you know, now that you're quote unquote official, I know that doesn't mean a whole lot, you know, because yeah. we're probably going to be doing this regardless of if we're official or not because we enjoy it. Correct. Yeah. But. I mean, what, what is your goal as a content creator and what is, what is something that you are excited about making in the next, you know, weeks, months, you know, anything like that? Well, I'm supposed to get access to the Fulmination server anytime now. Um, so once I do, I'm going to be playing around quite a bit and recording content off of that for, Mm -hmm. uh, different things. Um, industry being one of them. I I started off as an industry player. I was always an indie uh, pilot in EVE Online. That was always kind of at at the core and the heart of what I wanted to do. I don't Mm -hmm. get a chance to do that at all now (laughs) with everything that I'm doing. Uh, I let other guys do that. Uh, but I, I want to try to, you know, that's the, that's a big thing inside my corporation. Um, I have a ton of indie guys and I want to make sure that they're all busy and they're busy doing things that make sense and that make them money. Mm-hmm. And that's the number one goal inside the corp. And so as far as a content creator goes, um, that, that would be kind of one of the things, like those individual videos that I'm doing, the shorts that I call them, they always wind up to be way longer than the 10 minutes I envision them to be. <laughs> yep. Um, that's the kind of thing I envision there is to make sure that people know, you know, industry is in a bad state, but it's not dead. Not dead if you mm-hmm. can get creative which we have done. Yeah. Um, I keep my guys busy all the time. We are nonstop building things. It just never ends. It just never ends. Every, they, can, they can mine all day and night, and I can afford to buy every piece of ore, uh, every piece of uh, reprocessed mineral, a PI, they collect all of it. Um, I can afford to buy all of it because we're churning it out and turning it into ships and getting them sold, whether that's capitals or not. Uh, and so we're constantly churning, and we found a way to make that work uh, very well um, and that's probably one of my funnest uh, videos that I did, which on those shorts was the corporation market one. Uh, that was mm-hmm. a huge addition to the game this year. Um, yeah. And I hope there's more things coming from it uh, in the future um, because it really does make it possible for corporations to, to really seriously make money for their pilots. The corporation itself doesn't exist to make a ton of money. It exists to help the pilots make a ton of money. So, Right. Very cool. Did I even answer well, the question? Now I forget. I don't know. <laughs> eh, close enough you know what are you, what are you interested in making more industry content more you know kind of uh, yeah, yeah content around well, helping people get rich yeah and get more people in the game to be excited about yeah. the game we've got a lot of people who who can be kind of debbie downers about this game because it, it's not going in the direction that they want it to and i understand that i feel i feel that too sometimes but if we're not careful we're gonna have a self-fulfilling prophecy right and so yep. there's there's like we said before uh, there's no advertising for the game um, and so in part, that's kind of what my content creation stuff is for, um, showing people the fun parts, the aspect, that, that part of it, other than my freaking rant that I did the other day. So I'll try not to do those. <laughs> I, I wanted to be more upbeat, but, um, but anyway, no, I, I, I want to make it, uh, an engaging kind of, uh, atmosphere anyway on those videos, uh, and to try to draw yep. more players in period, Absolutely. grow the game. Well, I appreciate that. And it's funny. I don't know if it's going to be out when, uh, uh, <laughs> when this goes live, but I actually just also recorded something kind of about that and, and how do we get more people in the game and, and yeah. start doing some of that. So I'm, I'm with you there. I, I love this game. I want it to keep going. Yep. I just, you know, I really want, I want to make it a game that people want to come play, you know? And, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. that is everything from the person who just logged on and has no idea what's going on, you know, yep. to the person who's been playing for two years and is just kind of getting burned out and bored. So I think there's, there's a lot of things that can, um, can be done. And I, I hope that NetEase is able to really kind of turn things around a little bit in some areas, you know, industry being a great example of them. But uh, overall, I think that it's, it's content like this and uh, just getting people excited to get back into it. That'll really help keep this game going for a long time. I agree. I agree. So, well, 
Thank you so much for joining me today. It has been a pleasure talking to you. You too. Um, you know, as we are uh, continuing to get to know each other through the content creator group, I'm, I'm excited to have more of these kind of conversations, whether it's here or, you know, on y'all's podcasts. Uh, for those of you watching at home, uh, if you have not already checked out Echoes of New Eden, uh, again, I'll put a link down in the description and potentially one of the cards here if I can figure out how to do that to a, to a podcast. Um, but uh, go on Spotify, Apple, wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, check these guys out. They're doing a fantastic job and put some great content out. So definitely, uh, definitely do that. Um, Taylor, any, any last thoughts before, uh, before we, we hang it up here? No, I just, you know, wish everybody a good uh, holiday weekend here in the States. Uh, I don't know when this is going to come out, but it's 4th of July weekend, so I hope everybody gets to, to enjoy it. Every once in a while, it's okay to step away from the game, take a little bit of a break, get a day or two off refresh well, and right. recharge those batteries come back have fun and and let's let's find each other on the map and kill each other it'd be great <laughs> sounds like a plan well thanks so much man have a great one as well for you uh enjoy the the long weekend and we will talk soon all right thank you man you too all right thanks y'all